The Essence of Presence, Unveiling the Core of Spiritual Pursuit In the vast expanse of our spiritual quest, a question arises from the depths of our collective consciousness, reaching out like the roots of an ancient tree searching for sustenance. What is the most important thing in the spiritual journey? This question, seemingly simple, is laden with the weight of millennia of human inquiry. The answer is as profound as the question itself, presence. Presence is the cornerstone of our spiritual edifice, the very ground upon which we stand. It is not a mere concept, but an experience, a state of being that transcends the boundaries of time and space. When we are present, truly present, we embrace the fullness of life. We align ourselves with the universe's rhythm, becoming attuned to the subtle dance of creation that unfolds around us. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. Let us explore the dimensions of presence. It is, at its core, an invitation to inhabit the here and now fully. The past, with its memories and lessons, and the future, with its promises and possibilities, converge in this singular moment. Here, in the present, we are offered a window into the eternal. It is within this window that the light of awareness shines, illuminating our experiences and revealing the truth that resides in the simplicity of being. To be present is to witness. It is to observe the thoughts that traverse the mind without becoming entangled in their web. It is to feel the emotions that ripple through the heart without being swept away by their currents. It is to sense the body's quiet messages without being ensnared by physical sensations. Witnessing is the act of conscious observation, where we become the sky, vast and unbounded, and our thoughts, emotions, and sensations become the fleeting clouds that drift by. The art of witnessing is subtle, yet its implications are profound. It requires a gentle detachment, a stepping back to observe without judgment or interference. This is not to say we become indifferent or disconnected. Rather, we engage with life more fully, more authentically. We allow each experience to be what it is, without the compulsion to label or change it. In this space of allowance, we find freedom. We find the peace that comes from knowing that we are not the sum of our experiences, but the awareness that perceives them. Now, consider the breath. The breath is a bridge between the conscious and the unconscious, the voluntary and the involuntary. By bringing attention to our breath, we anchor ourselves in the present moment. Each inhalation is a renewal, each exhalation a release. The breath is a teacher, showing us the ebb and flow of life, the impermanent nature of all things. As we attune to our breath, we become more rooted in the present, more grounded in the reality of our existence. The practice of mindfulness is a powerful tool in cultivating presence. It is the deliberate focus of attention on the present moment with an attitude of openness and curiosity. Mindfulness can be applied to any activity, transforming the mundane into the sacred. When we eat, we can savor each bite noticing the flavors, textures, and sensations. When we walk, we can feel the earth beneath our feet, the rhythm of our steps, the movement of air against our skin. Mindfulness turns every act into a meditation, every experience into an opportunity for growth. Yet, presence is not merely about attention. It is also about intention. Our intentions set the course of our journey, guiding our actions and shaping our experiences. When our intention is to be present, every moment becomes an act of spiritual practice. We infuse our daily lives with purpose, with a sense of sacred engagement. We begin to see the divine in the ordinary, the extraordinary in the everyday. 
The challenge, however, lies in maintaining presence amidst the distractions of the world. Our minds are often caught in the storm of thoughts and emotions, pulled in myriad directions by the winds of external stimuli. To remain present is to stand firm in the eye of this storm, to find the still point within where we are unshaken by the chaos that surrounds us. In this stillness, we encounter the essence of our being. We come face to face with the reality of who we are beyond the roles and identities we assume. This encounter is a homecoming, a return to the source from which we emerged. Here, in the presence of our true self, we find a love and acceptance that is unconditional, a wisdom that is innate, and a joy that is boundless. The journey of presence is a journey inward. It is a peeling away of the layers that obscure our inner light, a gentle uncovering of the luminous core that resides within each of us. This inner light is our guide, our compass that points to the truth. It is the flame that burns away the illusions that bind us, the beacon that leads us to freedom. The heart's resonance, embracing the pulse of compassion, in our voyage through the spiritual realm, we must now turn our gaze to an element as vital as the air that fills our lungs, as essential as the blood coursing through our veins. This element is compassion. If presence is the foundation of our spiritual house, then compassion is the very walls that encompass and protect us, offering shelter and warmth. Compassion begins with an inward stroke, a tender acknowledgement of our own humanity. To look within and embrace our strengths and frailties, our victories and struggles with equal measure, is to cultivate the fertile ground from which compassion grows. It is recognizing that our vulnerabilities are not weaknesses, but portals to a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. As we nurture compassion within, we inevitably find its resonance echoing outward. The heart's pulse becomes not just our own, but a shared rhythm with all of life. Compassion is the silent language that transcends words, the invisible thread weaving through the tapestry of existence, connecting us in unseen ways. It allows us to meet each other not as strangers, but as kindred spirits on a shared journey. The act of extending compassion to another is a sacred exchange, a gift of immeasurable value. It is a recognition of the divine spark within every soul, an affirmation of the inherent worth of every being. When we approach others with compassion, we offer them a mirror reflecting their own beauty, often forgotten amidst the trials of life. We become vessels of healing, instruments of peace, and messengers of love. Imagine a world where each of us moved with the grace of compassion, where every interaction was infused with understanding and kindness. This world is not a utopian fantasy, but a possible reality that begins with the choices we make each day. Every act of compassion, no matter how small, ripples through the fabric of reality creating waves of positive change. The practice of loving-kindness meditation is a profound way to deepen our well of compassion. In this practice, we send wishes of happiness, health, safety, and ease to ourselves and others. We begin with ourselves, for it is from the abundance of our own heart that we can give to others. We then extend these wishes to loved ones, acquaintances, strangers, and even those with whom we have difficulties. Through this meditation, the barriers between us and them dissolve, revealing the interconnectedness of all beings. Yet compassion is not merely a passive feeling. It is an active force. It compels us to move beyond empathy into the realm of action. Compassion in action is the hands that feed the hungry, the voice that speaks against injustice, the arms that comfort the grieving. It is the small acts of kindness that go unnoticed, 
the silent sacrifices made in the name of love. When we act with compassion, we become living embodiments of the spiritual principles we hold dear. In the face of suffering, compassion provides solace and refuge. It is a balm for the wounds of the world, a force that can transform pain into purpose, despair into hope. Compassion teaches us that suffering is not an experience to be shunned but understood, not a curse but a common thread that binds us in our shared humanity. The cultivation of compassion asks us to look beyond the surface, to see the pain that hides behind anger, the fear that lurks beneath aggression, the longing that lives under indifference. It asks us to be brave, to open our hearts even when they are trembling, to extend our hands even when they are empty. Compassion asks us to be fully human, to embrace the full spectrum of our experience with grace and courage. In the embrace of compassion, judgments soften, conflicts ease, and forgiveness becomes possible. Forgiveness, both of ourselves and others, is a testament to the power of compassion. It is the release of burdens that we carry, the relinquishing of grudges that weigh us down. Forgiveness is the ultimate act of compassion, for it frees us from the chains of the past and allows us to step into the present with renewed lightness. The most profound question we can hold in our hearts as we walk the path of compassion is not one of words but of essence. It is a question that is felt rather than spoken, a question that resonates with the very core of our being. It is the silent inquiry into the nature of love itself. What is love, if not the ultimate expression of compassion? As we journey through the landscape of compassion, let us carry with us the understanding that our spiritual journey is not a solitary trek, but a collective pilgrimage. We are travelers on a shared path, bound by the common destiny of seeking truth, understanding, and connection. Compassion is the force that unites us, the sacred bond that reminds us that we are not alone, that in the heart of each of us there is a light that shines with the same brilliance. The Luminous Tapestry of Connection, Weaving the Threads of Compassion As we traverse the landscape of the soul, we uncover another jewel within the treasure chest of our spiritual odyssey, connection. The threads of compassion, spun from the silken fibers of our heart's deepest capacity for love, weave a tapestry that binds us not only to our fellow beings, but to the entirety of existence. Connection is the invisible architecture of the spirit, the energetic scaffold that underpins our interactions with life itself. It is found in the silent communion with the rising sun, the shared gaze with a wild creature, the unspoken understanding between kindred souls. It is the realization that we are not merely walking upon the earth, but that we are, in fact, part of its very essence, its intricate web of life. In the realm of connection, we recognize that our lives are interdependent. The food that nourishes us, the air that fills our lungs, the water that quenches our thirst, all are gifts from a planet that supports and sustains us. When we drink from a stream, we are partaking in the Earth's circulatory system. When we breathe in the fragrance of a forest, we are engaging in a dialogue with trees, Connection teaches us that every action we take, every word we speak, has reverberations that extend far beyond our immediate perception. To live with an awareness of connection is to walk gently upon the earth. It is to understand that the choices we make are like stones cast into a pond, their ripples extending outward in concentric circles. We begin to move through the world with a heightened sense of responsibility, a conscious intention to contribute positively to the collective whole. The practice of gratitude is a simple yet profound way to honor our connections. 
Each moment of thankfulness is an acknowledgement of the interplay of forces that sustain our existence. When we express gratitude for our food, we are thanking not just the farmer, but the soil, the rain, the sunlight. When we are grateful for our relationships, we are recognizing the myriad experiences that have shaped us into beings capable of love and friendship. Connection also invites us to explore the inner landscapes of others. Through the art of deep listening, we offer those around us the gift of presence, allowing them to express their truths without fear of judgment. Deep listening is not just hearing the words spoken, but tuning into the underlying emotions, the unvoiced thoughts, the whispers of the soul. It is through this profound attentiveness that we truly connect with others, building bridges of understanding that transcend differences. Yet, connection is not always comfortable. It sometimes asks us to stand in the rawness of another's pain, to bear witness to suffering and loss. In these moments, our hearts may feel like they are breaking, but it is through these cracks that the light of our compassion shines brightest. We become beacons of solace and support, reminding others that they do not have to endure their trials alone. As we deepen our connections, we also become more attuned to the nonverbal communication that pervades the world around us. We learn to listen to the language of nature, to understand the messages conveyed by the rustling leaves, the ebbing tides, the cycles of the seasons. We begin to perceive the earth as a living, breathing entity with its own rhythms and wisdom. The question that arises from the depths of our connectedness is not posed in words but is felt as a stirring within the soul. It is the inquiry into the very fabric of existence, the essence of our interbeing. Can we truly know ourselves as separate when we are so intricately woven into the tapestry of life? As we continue our spiritual journey, let us hold connection as a sacred principle, a guiding light on our path. Let us celebrate the diversity of expressions that life offers while recognizing the unity that underlies them all. Let us remember that every act of kindness, every gesture of goodwill, every moment of understanding contributes to the harmonious whole. Connection, then, is not merely an aspect of our spiritual journey. It is the very essence of our being. It is the recognition that we are all part of a greater whole, each of us a unique thread in the luminous tapestry of existence.